Hello. You guys, I feel like it's been a minute. We've had a big week. Our son was visiting with his girlfriend and we had so much fun and did so many fun things together and they went off and did fun things. And so I pre-filmed quite a few of the last few episodes just because I knew I was gonna be busy. So it's been a while since I have recorded any Delight with My episodes. All that to say, I'm coming in real enthusiastic on this one. So you may have heard me, if you follow me on Instagram, at Delight of the Night, by the way, um, I post food things and there's a dip that Scott and I had in Hawaii um, by Coco Head Foods. It's a local fish food maker, whatever, in Hawaii. They have this smoked ahi dip and it's one of those things, if you know, you know. And um, my friend Bree from high school lives there. She like even messaged me. She's like, oh my gosh, that's our favorite dip. And I'm like, yeah, I know. Isn't it amazing? So I've been obsessed and I don't own a smoker, and smoking ahi on the regular would be really expensive. However, I found a few different recipes for smoked tuna dip, and I've kind of patched them together to make my own version. This is the first time I'm making it, so we'll see if it tastes remotely the same. If it tastes even close, I'm gonna be so psyched. So, smoked tuna dip, people. Let's get started. The cool thing with this, it's really fast and really easy and pretty basic ingredients, so. Let's go. This is going to be a bend over one. Okay, hi. So, brick of cream cheese. Sometimes you have those things like in your fridge on the regular just in case. Because cream cheese, there's a lot you can do with it. Um, I regularly have these little packets of um, albacore tuna. The recipe calls for five ounces of tuna. So, I am going to just open these as I chit chat with you about the rest of the ingredients. Um, Liquid smoke, that's gonna be the smoke element. So if you've never seen that, looks like this, and it's it's no joke. It's very potent, very strong. Um, I really, really do need to squish down. Um, and it just adds that smokiness without being smoke. I'm sure it's full of chemicals. But, you know, it's not like I'm eating smoked tuna dip on the regular, so I think I got those out. Okay. So, tuna and cream cheese. You could do it by hand, but I'm gonna do it with my mixer, like just like this. I'm gonna stand up because I can't continue to bend over. Hopefully I'm not gonna fling tuna everywhere. But you guys, the thing about this dip is it comes together, as you're gonna see, really fast. We're almost done. Okay, so I have mixed. The, dip, the tuna with the cream cheese. In here, I've got garlic powder, a little bit of salt, because tuna in the package is already pretty salty, and a little black pepper, that's going down. And then in here, a little Worcestershire sauce and liquid smoke, so that will go in. And then just a couple dashes of hot sauce of your choice. I don't have a lot of hot sauce, so I'm just doing a small dribble of a little Frank's Red Hot. That's about as hot as I can actually handle. I'm a real wimp when it comes to spice. So that's going in. And I'll finish with my with my uh, little green chives. So you guys, this is it. People are gonna be like, what? Because it's so yummy. My little pro tip, I always leave, if you have a bowl that's deep enough, I like raise it just above the stuff, turn it on like super high to get most of the most of the mixture off the beater. So I can get that out of the camera, so it's not too bad. Okay, and then to this, uh, some fresh chives if you have them. You could also do some green onions minced. Just I gotta stand up. I can't bend over. But I love when I do chives. I grow them in my in my little pot in the backyard. They're so easy, and I just use scissors because when you chop them on a board, they tend to kind of go everywhere. And um, so just little snips, and this just adds that little bite. First off, adds some color, adds a little bit of freshness. And um, yeah, I love I love chives. They're really like delicate and mild. They're not super strong oniony. So if you don't already, if you've never grown something, give chives a try. I think they are easy peasy. They also do sell them in the grocery, or like I said, green onions, um, or even in a pinch, you could do dried chives. That would work too. Okay, so that's about enough of that. And then I'll be right back and grab my little spatula. Sorry about that. 
And I'm just gonna fold this in and I'm gonna get this transferred into a bowl. I'm gonna let it chill for just a little while before I do the taste test. So I feel like I'm giving it an authentic go. But right now, you guys, this is looking pretty close to the smoked ahi. Not exactly, but it smells like it. I'm so excited. All right, I'll see you in just a minute. All right, it's been chilling. I want you to zoom in real quick and show you just how I finished it. Um, I just tapped lightly a little bit of, this is smoked paprika, but you could do regular paprika and then a few more of the little chives. It just kind of finishes it off nice. Um, this is if you're doing some sort of fancy presentation. If you're just making it for your family or yourselves to enjoy as a little appetizer, you're taking it somewhere, um, you know, this is nice, but not necessarily required. So have a little thin pita chips that I'm gonna dip in here. When we were in Hawaii, we would get these really good taro chips. So if you have access to taro chips, it might be really good. So here we go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, honey, I think we found it. New vibes. Mm. Can't wait to make this for my dad and my stepmom, Kathy, because they're obsessed with this dip like we are. Next time we get together, I'm bringing it, you guys. This is not exact, but it's pretty dang close. So I gotta say, ahi, albacore, a little different. I mean, maybe not technically. I'm sorry, I'm not a fisherwoman. I don't know all the cuts of the fish and the different versions of tuna, or if there's just one and it's different parts of the fish. I should know that, but I didn't get that far in school. <laughs> but I do know that albacore, um, is less expensive than ahi so this is a really like user friendly everyday joe kind of person type of dip and you guys i literally made it in three minutes i'm not kidding like it was so so fast super tasty i gotta have one more i'm getting the look from scott <laughs> he's got the frowny face <laughs> old fashions and then some dip before dinner i say yes you guys make this dip. People are going to go crazy. They're going to say, well, what the heck is that? And you'll be like, because it took you five seconds to put together. It is a winner all around. I'm so excited for you to try this one. Even if you're not like a super fishy person, I'm telling you, you're going to like it. There's no weird chunks or things. It's good. All right. To the light of the vibe, subscribe, share, tell your friends, hit that like button below the video, please and um, help me out with comments. That's always awesome. I love to interact with you and I'm excited to always get feedback and um, see what I can do better. So hear back what you want to hear from, hear from me in the future. So, all right, you guys, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.